Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. Today, I wanted to share a really fun trip with you that I recently took with my family. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with a boring family trip and a destination that doesn't mean anything to you. This was a very exciting trip because we head out on the road to go antiquing. Round Top is a tiny little city in Texas that packs a huge punch with one of the best antique shows in the entire United States. Antique vendors, artisans, even new furniture and home decor companies come from all over the world for this event just a few times a year to showcase their new finds and discoveries. I was able to take my design projects to the next level by being able to find incredible things that I just can't find anywhere else. And that's why I wanted to share this video with you today so you can see how I create my wish list, the kinds of things I look for, and of course how I eventually veer off the track and just get drawn to objects that I know are the ones for my projects. So watch along as I share this journey with you. Now we're heading out on the road. I do always have a little rolling list in my mind of things that I'm looking for, but if you've ever gone antiquing, you know you never know what you're gonna find. So the drive to Round Top was about 90 minutes door to door. Now it wasn't just me this time, I was able to bring my whole family. So I had my husband, Bobby, joining us, Rohan and Devin, my two boys, my mom, and even our puppy, Coco. You ready? You ready to go to Round Top? Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Like how excited on a level of one to 10? Like in 10. 10? Are you excited? Are you gonna buy a lot of antique? Probably. Oh, you cute boy. And who's your travel mate today? Coco. Coco, the cute face. Hello. On our way to Round Top. When we got there, the first thing that we did was to tour the grounds of the farmhouse. It was so beautiful with these wide open fields, a beautiful pond, windmills, even a white picket fence. And it felt so peaceful to be back in to a nature setting. Of course, I have to give you a tour of the house. I've just walked through this beautiful side door. It has the most charming porch outside. And here we are in this beautiful morning room. I'm gonna have my coffee here in the morning and do a little rocking, um, little rocking chairs while I cuddle up with one of my cute little guys, Rohan and Devin. Here's Alma. Here she is in the farmhouse. She's very afraid of ghosts. So we hope nobody visits her on this trip. <laughs> See this? There's a seating area here. There's one here. You've got so much room. Look at all these beautiful books and this beautiful built-in mm -hmm. bookshelf. Going up the stairs. We haven't even gone upstairs yet. I can't wait to the see. And it has all these really beautiful antique touches. Like, look at that chest of drawers, that commode, that marble in there. And that chalk-painted side table. You know I'm about chalk-painted anything. There were so many charming features to the home. Just what you would imagine a farmhouse to be is exactly what we experienced when we got there. Rohan has claimed this room. It's so adorable. Okay, we have upstairs. Let's go on the upstairs tour. Beep, beep. I love these two beds facing each other. What do you think about the ceiling? It's very common. It's so cozy. Like, I feel like I'm in a nook. So we got a good night's sleep, and then on day two, I brought my wish list with me, ready to go out on the hunt. I'm getting ready to head out, and I've got my wish list ready to go. What's on my wish list for today is a collection or a group or some sort of antique style or antique artwork to go over my sofa. I have a really long, extra long sofa, and I haven't found the perfect piece quite yet. Another thing on my wish list is to look for a beautiful antique style desk. And of course, you never know what you're gonna stumble on. So I just can't wait to see what is gonna come across our paths as we head out. Of course, I found a few amazing hidden gems that were not on my list. But my husband also found a few comfortable chairs to plop into. Rohan stumbled upon this really cool antique foyer safe and Coco was even able to meet a few four-legged friends. 
he's about six months, so he's having a lot of stimulation overload and meeting new friends. Oh, they're so cute. As I was walking along, there were so many beautiful things that were so irresistible to me. Beautiful, chippy, painted, distressed pieces of furniture, old Swedish style clocks. I'm a sucker for anything chicken wire and there was so much chicken wire and truly, I felt like I wish I could take it all home. But I don't have space for everything and thanks to my wish list, it kept reminding me to focus and stay on task. I love this screen. It's the classic chinoiserie style. Even with a little tear in it, I overlook this for so things. I think this would be a perfect backdrop for a wall. Now, if you've ever followed any of our tutorials, I love sharing tips on how to glam up your room. And sometimes four white walls just don't need a trick. So I love looking for things like this that you can layer behind a seating area or behind a bed to really create this gorgeous layers of texture and visual lookers. Now I was really on the hunt for a beautiful desk for my office space. I stumbled upon a few incredibly beautiful pieces that I went back and forth on and ultimately decided they weren't the right fit for a couple of reasons. Now in my office where I work in my actual office, I have two different monitors that we work from. Sometimes we have to consider our modern day workspace. So as I was looking at these beautiful secretaries, which I love and adore, I knew it wasn't the right fit because I needed more space to spread out. I was so disappointed because I was itching to find that perfect piece and put it into my office, but at least it gives me something to look forward to on my next hunt. The other item on my wish list was an incredible antique something or another to go on my sofa wall. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything on this trip either, but it's still on my wish list and definitely something that I'm gonna keep my eye out for anytime I go on my next antiquing haul. So you may be wondering, why should you even go to a show like Round Top? Well, here are a couple of my favorite reasons why. When you go out and look for pieces to put into your home that are out of the ordinary or one of a kind, it does a couple of things for you. Number one, it actually says a lot about your personality. For example, my husband loves to look for stately furniture, big pieces, pieces with paws on them or lion faces because that's his personality. He's a conqueror type of personality. So these sorts of items reflect that about you in your home. Secondly, it gives you that uniqueness or that one of a kind aspect in your home. And no, your entire home doesn't need to be one of a kind, but one, two, or just a few special pieces is the factor that's gonna take it from what you see everywhere to a home that truly reflects you, your personality, and your passions. Last, many of these sorts of shows are made up of small businesses. I love supporting events like this and small businesses just like this to really make a contribution and help our community keep going. If you don't have a round top or an antique fair like what I'm sharing with you today, look for a beautiful antique store or thrift store in your community and you will enjoy the exact same thrill of the hunt. If you're itching to see what pieces I picked up, stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing my entire haul in an upcoming episode. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you're excited to see all that's in the haul. Then hit the subscribe or follow button. And then make sure to ring the bell so you get the notification when that episode comes out. Afterwards, head over to my blog where you can sign up to receive your design newsletter and soak in hours of endless design tips. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. Naughty. Once we got there, we were super excited to tour the grounds that, of the farm. <clears throat> Let me see. Devin, why aren't you in school? Can you put your headphones on? Thank you, baby. And soak in hours of endless design tips. 
Okay, this is on a video. 